So let us start the proof of Asela Ascoli. Uh, so we are claiming the equivalence of compactness with these three properties. And so of course to prove, we have to prove two directions. And of course one, one is quite simple, namely going from compactness to those properties. But so let us start with this one. And this is mainly uh, that yeah, using what we observed in our uh, motivation, namely that if I have a convergent sequence, then it should be equicontinuous. Huh? So uh, that's what we essentially have to use for this. Okay, so this is this direction. Um, yeah, okay, so we assume A is compact and we want to show it's closed, bounded, and equicontinuous. Closed and bounded, of course, is no problem because we know that's uh, always true. So any compact set in any Banach space must be compact and bounded. So the only thing we, we really have to prove is that the compact subset of the continuous functions is equicontinuous. Mm. Good, okay, and this we do by yeah, contraposition. So we assume it's not equicontinuous and then we show it cannot be bounded, uh, it cannot be compact. So I assume a is not equi continuous. Uh, okay, and then, yeah, I, of course, use the fact it means it, it doesn't satisfy this property, and because compactness is something about uh, sequences, I better should now get a sequence with which I can uh, argue further. Uh, okay, so, and for this, I'm just using, so I mean, not having this property means, uh, yeah, I have an epsilon such that for all delta, I have a property like this, and for the deltas, I'm just choosing a one over n. Uh, and then I have elements corresponding to this property, which are indexed by n, and this means I have a sequence. Huh? So, so being not equicontinuous means in particular that negation of this, there exists, uh, a delta such that for all delta bigger than zero, but now I only take the deltas of the form one over n, because this allows me to give to get a sequence. So for all delta of the form uh, one over n, I mean there exist guys like this, and there exists a function like this such that this here is not true. Uh, okay, and so I get here things which depend on this delta, uh, and of course I index then them by uh, by n. Huh? So this means there exist xn and yn for this delta here, and there exists an fn in A uh, such that that I have this xn minus yn is less than this delta, which is here 1 over n, uh, such that xn minus yn is less than 1 over n, uh, but fn of xn minus fn of yn is not less than the epsilon, but it's bigger than epsilon. Huh? Okay, huh? so that's a negation of this property here. Huh? So I have x's and y's and a function such that I have a negation of this for, for this data. Uh, okay, and I mean, uh, I index those data by n, and this means I have now a sequence of functions in A. Uh, and this sequence uh, is not equicontinuous. So this tells me that this sequence is not equicontinuous, and then, of course, any subsequence of this sequence can also not be equicontinuous. So this means no subsequence of this sequence Fn, which I have found here, is equicontinuous. Yeah, because I have this property here also for subsequences, this violation of the equicontinuity. Good, but now I have a sequence, and now if I assume, or I assume that my uh, set A is compact, uh, so this means any sequence in this set, and here I have a sequence in this set, has a convergent subsequence. Uh, 
So. However, A is compact by our assumption, uh, and this means uh, any sequence, so in particular this sequence Fn here, has a convergent subsequence. So there exists a convergent subsequence of Fn. Yeah, but now in our motivation for the notion of equicontinuity, we have seen that a convergent sequence uh, must be equicontinuous. Uh, so this means the subsequence here, which is convergent, must be equicontinuous. So this subsequence is equicontinuous. Yeah, but before we have seen that our sequence Fn was of such a nature that no subsequence of it is equicontinuous. Huh? So we have here a contradiction. Huh? Okay, so contradiction, and this means that our assumption that the set A is not equicontinuous cannot be true, which means the set is equicontinuous. So if A is compact, it must also be uh, equicontinuous. Good, okay, so that's, that's the easy direction uh, of our proof, and now we have to go for the more interesting one.